The phrase Nam Myoho Renge Kyo has profound meaning for followers of Nichiren Buddhism. Literally translated as, Devotion to the Mystic Law of the Lotus Sutra, this mantra represents the ultimate truth of Buddhism. However, the question remains, is the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo a force for good or evil in the world? Nichiren Daishonin, the 13th century Japanese Buddhist monk who established Nichiren Buddhism, taught that Nam Myoho Renge Kyo contains immeasurable power, the power to transform lives and society for the better. In his treatise, On Attaining Buddhahood in This Lifetime, he states, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is like the roar of a lion. What sickness can therefore be an obstacle? Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the great pure law. It is obvious that the pure law can wipe away all sins. Here, Nichiren praises the mystical law as a curative force, able to heal both spiritual and physical illness. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, he argues, cleanses negative karma and elevates individuals to their highest potential. Nichiren also maintained that widespread chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo could purge the ills of society and usher in an age of peace and prosperity. In The Selection of the Time, he writes, If you chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, then the three powerful enemies will become three powerful friends. The three obstacles will change into the three ways of guiding others. This in turn will become the foundation for your attaining Buddhahood. Here, the three obstacles represent greed, anger and foolishness, vices that Nichiren felt plagued medieval Japanese society. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, he proposes, transforms these inner enemies into constructive forces that enrich our lives and communities. Modern practitioners echo Nichiren's sentiments about the power of the mystical law. J, a member of Nichiren Buddhism, shares, I used to have severe anger issues. But once I started chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, I felt this negative energy transform into more positive feelings. Instead of lashing out when I'm upset, I'm now able to step back, chant, and respond with calmness. Stories like Jay's seem to support the idea that Nam Myoho Renge Kyo brings out people's inherent goodness. By tapping into the law's power, individuals unlock their capacity for wisdom, courage, and compassion. However, some critics argue that Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can also be used destructively. They point to historical examples of corrupt religious institutions or authoritarian governments manipulating people's faith for political gain. Even Nichiren Buddhism has not been immune to internal sectarian strife over doctrinal matters. Additionally, Isolated cases exist of individuals using chanting to justify or overlook unethical behavior, under the logic that any action that spreads Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is good. This sentiment clearly contradicts the Buddhist emphasis on moral conduct. Ultimately, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo itself is neither good nor evil. As a natural mystical force, it remains inherently neutral. The benefit or harm derives from the practitioner's mindset and actions. Chanting with a spirit of humanism and justice promotes good. But chanting with an arrogant or self-serving motive risks distorting the law's power. Nichiren offers guidance on how to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo correctly. In his letter, The Fourteen Slanders, he identifies ways people misuse or disrespect the mystic law, warning that such attitudes invite misfortune. He also stresses in several major writings the need to uphold the highest ethical standards while propagating Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. For instance, in The Opening of the Eyes, Nichiren declares, Even a heartless villain loves his wife and children. Heedless children love their parents. If one should discard affection for parents, spouse, and children, then one is on the path of the devil. If you wish to quickly attain Buddhahood, you should be filial to your parents and avoid associating with priests who violate religious precepts. Here, he clearly links reverence for human bonds and virtue with proper Buddhist practice. Familial love serves as a gateway to realizing one's innate Buddhahood. Vice and immorality lead one astray. 
Nam Myoho Renge Kyo represents a mystical force that magnifies both the light and darkness inherent in life. With compassion as one's guide, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo brings out human goodness, improving self and society. But without ethics, the law's power can be abused. By upholding virtue along with faith, Nichiren Buddhists can achieve their goal of establishing peace and enlightenment through their daily practice.